Mm -hmm. Canonically, Samus beats Dark Samus, so I would, I would try and stay away from that matchup. Fair. Uh, Yuba Zukalusa coming up next. Um, the our visiting Lucas main going up against our UBC's resident Wario main, who sometimes plays Kazuya. Maybe we'll see that depending on where we go. Be honest, who's seen this matchup? Maybe add a different UBC weekly, but where else are you going to see <laughs> matchups like this? Be honest, where have you ever seen this matchup? You haven't. You yeah. see Wario alone, you see rarely, Wario alone. you rarely, rarely see Lucas. Local hero Lucas is, mind you, but Local this, hero is, Lucas is. this is an invader Lucas. <laughs> this is, I'm going to shuffle up your entire PR Lucas. Yeah. And we'll see what Zookaloosa can do. Right now, hey, UBC's got momentum, right? If a UBC player can beat out, a UBC player can beat Yuba. You know, they're all, we're all the collective. It's all the same people. I think, One shared talent pool. I think Lucas has a lot of good horizontal options. But I'm curious, I don't think Lu Lu uh, Lucas does all too well against like falling down opponents. Mm -hmm. Which, as Wario, I think when you have platforms to work with, mm -hmm. you have so many openings available to you. Yeah, and uh, but also Lucas kind of floaty, kind of a little bit harder to combo. Um, you've kind of kind of going for these signature airs. Can do a lot of damage if you manage to get one of those solid hits with those airs across stage. Doing such a good job of walling him out too. Oh, that's a bit of a panic upbeat. No punish though. Okay, okay, even up, it's something. Yeah, one minute in, dead even. This obviously. Um, Favors Wario a little bit. That waft is already about half built. Wario, like, Wario doesn't mind taking his time. Either. No, and I mean Zukalus are not exactly a, a camping kind of Wario. He'll he'll play. Uh, he'll play to play. He's not going to wait you out. But if you're not going to run at him, if he's not, you're not giving a good chance to approach, good dodge. Good good, good tether timing. <laughs> yeah, he'll take his time. Okay, okay. yeah, here are the air trains, but not going to get the whole way across. Oh my god! Can you edge guard Wario? How, how, e how easy or how hard is that? <laughs> it's on Lucas, you have some interesting options because you can maybe knock him off the bike with the PK Thunder. Uh, if you can get a PK Freeze in the right position, that's kind of an insane horizontal knockback. It's also a good recovery tool, but now you have to PK Thunder back to stage. Zuclus are not going to challenge that, just going to let it be. And yeah, almost two minutes in, no stops taken right now. Very paced, very measured. Good luck. Oh, yes, sir. Good luck. And yeah, still no stocks taken as we approach the two minutes gone mark. Yeah, I, it's kind of a feeling out process between these two players at the moment. Not exactly sure about each other's play styles. Haven't played too much, if at all. Um, I have missed a couple of UBC weeklies, so unfortunately, if they have played recently, I have missed it. Uh, but even if they have, I assume they haven't been playing a lot of games against each other. You heading out? Okay. You don't want to accommodate Lucas? No, I'm okay. You are all good. I will see you soon. Yeah. When? Maybe next week for senior invasion? True. Yeah. Join our Discord call on Sunday night when we're part of it. I might be busy Sunday. We'll see. If you're Still no stocks taken. Almost at the four minute mark. And 197 to 134. No. True. Finally able to get that first stock off 134 percent full waft building and building again and yeah making it dead even once again these players absolutely neck and neck regardless of the fact that wario doesn't really have a neck and honestly neither does lucas shoulder and shoulder right now uh less of a good start for zooklus and this one not as even but also if you can get one good hit you can get a lot of up airs get a good chain going it's by no means a lost means a lost cause. Yeah, that's how you can edge guard Wario. No bike here, but still able to make it back with that up B. And yeah, finally now a little bit of a combo. Ooh, good weight on the platform, but actually gets the bounce with the bike. Oh, barely gets hit by that PK freeze before he can get a good hit. And so not able to get as much damage. But still Zukaloza racing back into an even percent as quickly as he can at the moment. Still gonna have to do quite a bit of work though. That notably does have that walk and 
Tai is very happy to throw out, throw it out on the second stock. Um, right now, it's actually getting to the point that if he doesn't throw it out soon, we won't have time in this game for him to get a second one, a second full one, please. Good bite. Oh, gets the back hit, and the shield stun almost enough to make it hard to get a good punish, but not, but still able to get the back throw. Uh, Yuba, PK Thundering, maybe the wrong way, maybe just doing it for some spacing, wave bouncing a little bit as he does them. At this point, especially with the time gone, Kai's probably going to hold on to that loft for another stock. Uh, yeah, good back air. Even though at 189, all of that rage able to take that Lucas stock off so early. Uh, the child, while not as light as I think he should be, still pretty light. And yeah, Wario can definitely hit like a truck. Lost stock situation, two minutes left. We're actually getting close to the point that one player might be willing to time the other out. And we're also crossing the point that if if Kai... Oh, wow, just gets the waft off of one hit. And 22% on that last stock. Good job by Zucalusa. Two, here we go. On to small battlefield. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see as kind of careful considering of a start between these two players now that they felt each other out a little bit more. It certainly seems like I had figured out some of the US habits a little bit better by the end of that second game or that first game. Um, able to get a good read and just get that waft at the edge pretty cleanly. Um, and already here, it looks a lot more aggressive. Going in with a lot of these moves, getting a lot of these combos, already at 95% 30 seconds in. I don't think we're going to go three minutes without seeing a stock on this time. Ooh, good little dodge with that down B by Yuba, but still not able to get back from this ledge. Zucalusa right now getting caught by that Pikachu Fire, taking a little bit more damage, but still in a very good spot to take the stock off soon uh, with kind of a plethora of different moves. Yeah, good back air, not quite enough, but once again getting Yuba into a scary position. Not going to be able to get that tether recovery, going to have to PK Thunder back. A lot of a lot of damage early on by Zucalooza, but now Yuba's playing very carefully to not lose the stock, and he's kind of bringing it back, and we're seeing kind of a similar situation to what the last game was, with them slowly chipping away at boss 100%, not able to take the stock off. Hey, maybe I was wrong. Finally, the dash deck, good strong hit, 154, Kai able to take that stock off. 141, though. Uh, this stock is by no means secure for Zucalooza. Strong forward tilt, but still not quite enough. Forward tilt, or forward air there will be enough to take that stock. Only 19%. Uh, you are choosing to throw that bike off stage. Questionable whether that's the best thing to do against Wario, but... You know, it, it gets out of the way. It means it doesn't have to interrupt any of the combo starters or anything like that. You don't have to worry about it. Sometimes it's just easier. Especially if you're not planning to get Wario in a position that you can edge guard him or something very soon, which is pretty early. I'm going to go for the waft, but... Unfortunately, sending the wrong way, and so is still going to have to battle to take the stock off later on. And dealing with the child's big head, Wario right now kind of having to deal with some, an, another person with a giant head smacking you. Not something he's used to. Biking nicely over the PK freeze there. And yeah, we're back to this kind of cagey, 100% awkward position where neither of these players want to commit too hard to something for fear of losing their stock. Uh, once again, though, favoring Zookalooza because that second waft is now starting to build, and we saw how how well he can use it. Oh, Okay, yeah, not going to get too badly punished off that high up the... Oh, 
Oh, the forward tilt all, or the forward air all the way across stage, able to get that stock off so strong. But 120. This was a very similar position to the last game. Um, but I believe Zookaloosa had the lead then, so it'll be interesting to see how he does without it this time. Taking a little bit of damage here. Some combo starters, but not too much. Nice tether cancel there to get the PK fire, but Kai was wary of it, not going to take damage from it. No punish there from the air dodge. Luke is so floaty that that air dodge puts you so far away. Hard to punish. Ooh, air dodge is off stage. Limited in options at the moment. Kai forward tilting a little bit too early there to maybe get a uh, two frame, but... Looking very tough at the moment, unless Kai can get the stock off. Trying to up he managed to get back up. Uh, but yeah, 102% here, gonna start to get into kill range for quite a few of Lucas's moves. Looks like that full walk is charged once again, but unless you can get the stock off, you're not gonna get the chance to use it effectively. Nair still not quite enough. Oh, going very aggressively and actually just going to be able to interrupt that BK Thunder from Yuba. And now it's so scary. You've got that waft. You've got that waft. Oh, gets the air dodge, but... Oh, this is so scary if you're Yuba right now. 40%, but at kill percent. You're going to have to get this stock off quickly. Gonna end this. have to end this game quickly with Yuba, but that makes you antsy and that makes you lose. Goes too high, and yeah, the down tilt to forward tilt enough to take that game. 1-1. One, one. Machu versus Jovan next, cool. That should be fun. Alrighty, game three. UBC players going back to back game three against very tough opposition. Shows the quality of the region. Yeah, back on small battlefield here, interestingly. Once again, both these players angling for their combo starters at the moment, not quite able to get anything going. Zuclus is so good at evading these PK fires coming out. Yuba using it so often as... I mean, it's like a very good option, especially to zone you away from him. Uh, but good grab there, the tether grab giving you a little bit of extra space. And the PK freeze landing in front of Lucas, making it hard to punish that. Gotta be so careful around some of these Lucas moves, because if you... Try to get a little bit too antsy and try to punish too much of it, you will just get hit. And honestly, punished very badly sometimes. Yeah, that lost to that down air. Able to just kind of knock Zuko's that way. And. Yeah, once again, we're back to kind of a slow-paced game. So now it looks like Yuba with the advantage this time. Forward air, not quite enough with 83%, but next one likely will kill regardless of where it's from. So Zuclos are going to have to be very careful now. Just dropping that shield a little bit early into that PK fire. That's hit by the Nair, too. So long lasting or some of these moves in the down tilt and forward air or forward tilt is gonna be enough to take that stock off. 
The glues are looking a little bit frustrated trying to figure out what to do, but he does have that wall fully built. So he's not as far behind as he looks. Now we've seen Kai have some trouble taking some of these stocks off. Has used the dash deck, has used the back air, has used the waft obviously successfully. But right now, ooh, good upbe there to not get hit. But right now, struggling very hard to get the stock. Yeah, Yuba's air drift just enough to get him out of the range of some of these hitboxes. And it's looking tougher and tougher. Once again, Kai needs to figure out how to get these stocks. Okay. Probably. Okay, good Nair. Go, goes into dash back, but not going to be able to get it. Oh, actually, Tether's above ledge there. Nice nice mix up by Yuba. And this, maybe could be it? No, the dash back's still going through, and Zuculo's able to hold on to his stock for now, but it's definitely not looking great. That's the clank. God, this looks so frustrating as Yuba just dances around and tosses out these quick, baneful moves. And now three stocks to one, 156. If Guy can take the stock off sooner rather than later, manageable. If it takes too long and you run out of time for that other Wafta build as well, then you're, so much pressure is gone. Good dash check, finally able to take that stock off. 160 something percent before and four minutes before the first stock is gone for Yuba. So Zukaluza gonna have to definitely pick up the pace for this next one, even if, if he wants to even wants to even bring this uh, even before time runs out. But now the waft game to begin. No Zer train there for Yuba. <laughs> Good parry on the first of the Nair, but you gotta multi hits, you gotta parry all of them, otherwise you're just gonna get knocked out and get combo started and beaten down. Once again barely getting hit by the down air and that's gonna cost that costs Luke Lose us so much every time because it goes from I'm gonna get you disadvantage, I'm gonna maybe get close to getting the stock to I'm now having to deal with being in disadvantage. Good hit on the bike, probably gonna go for a second one as he recovers, barely missing with again the drift by Yuba, so good. Um, Kai, I think looking like he's going to keep this waft and once again, we're actually in a very scary spot for Yuba, who almost runs into the down air. 30 or so percent, depending on positioning on stage before Kai can get that waft and honestly can do it with one good combo starter and this is the combo starter doesn't get too much off of it not able to follow it up on the platform but nine percent and waft You're gonna get a second combo gets the air dodge to state or air dodge to platform ah watch the pk yeah that forward air gonna be enough that's so such a cage